Welcome back to Drifting Dreams. I'm Katie. And I'm Ethan. Today we have another 12 Days of Starlight for you. This time it's a rye finished in a rum cask. Super stoked to get into this, into this one, y'all. Um, as I spill, that excited. Can't waste it. Katie already said it. Rye and rum. Doesn't get much better than that. Rye takes a finish like nobody's business. Anybody who says otherwise is wrong or lying. And rum. Ooh. And this one happens to be a seal box pick. I think it comes in at about 111 proof. And so, yeah, let's get into the nose on it. Yep. And while we're getting in the nose here, I will say I've heard rumors that some of these rum barrels are four square barrels that they're finishing in. Don't know what this bottle is, but some of them are. So that's exciting. Get a ton of tropical fruit on the nose. Yeah, I do too. It's that rye spice still comes off very much though. Yes, it does. A little molasses. Yep. Maybe some orange. Mm hmm Yeah, I'm kind of, to me, that's kind of melding with the tropical fruits. But that could be the rye. For anyone who's not familiar, Starlight does all their own whiskey, so or they distill their own whiskey. So this is not MGP rye or anything like that. It's Indiana rye, yeah, but it's Starlight rye. It's their own stuff. So take your MGP notes and throw them out the window. Let's get into the taste on it. Super viscous. Maybe a little mint. No, coming out from the rye spice. Maybe a little. So it's spicy, spicy up front. And then it goes sweet from that rum. Like Katie said, viscous coats my mouth. Wow. And that finish oh, is still going, so. It is. It's a, it's a rye finish. It's a rye finish. It is, man, it's just spice. It's just lingering. Yeah, and almost now burnt sugar, so molasses is a good note for it. It has a lot of sweetness from the rum. Yeah, when I first smelled it, I thought I was getting a little bit of oak. And there's a little bit in there, but what I was actually getting like is what Katie said, that burnt molasses. It's just so dark. Man. Definitely getting the citrus on the second sip. That orange peel... Maybe a little bit of lemon, still tropical fruit on the nose, but not so much on the palate. Um, or leaning towards that, like I said, orange and lemon. Yep. Man, love these bottles. Rye and rum is just a spectacular combination. The flavor profile is all over the place. It's oily, it's viscous. Get into a last sip here and wrap it up. She can't tell me what to do. <laughs> definitely bring some heat. 111 proof is definitely coming out now. I get a nice warm hug all the way down. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it, it drinks its proof. Not over, though. No. But that rye is sticking with me each time, and I, I love it. I'm a huge fan. And as we've said before, Starlight's finishes are some of the best out there, especially mm -hmm. for a craft distillery. Uh, yeah. Happy that you guys to uh, tuned in today, and can't wait for the next one. Cheers, y'all. Cheers. Cheers.